Hi and welcome to Themeco. In this video, we will discuss about the definition of equivalent systems and how equivalency can be maintained when a certain force is transferred from one point to another point on the body. We will also take a look at how we can simplify a system of forces and couple moments acting on a certain body into a single resultant force and couple moment which have the same external effect on the body. Let's get started. So, what do we mean by an equivalent system? If the resultant force and couple moment have the same external effect on the motion of the body as the effect of separate forces and couple moments on the system, then we can say that the resultant force and couple moment are equivalent. Instead of using a system of different forces and couple moments, we can use the resultant force and couple moment, which together form the equivalent loading system on a body. Let us now discuss how to maintain equivalency when a single force which is applied to a specific point on the body is transferred to a different point. There are two ways in which we can move the force to locate it at a different point on the body. The first way is to move the force along its line of action. If we move the force from point A to point O, which are both along the line of action of the force, then this would not alter the external effect of the force on the body. Note, however, that this will have an effect on the internal forces of the body. In another case, we could move the force from point A to point O, which is not located along the original line of action of the force. In this case, we will have to define a couple moment, which is a free vector, and thus can be located at any point on the body. Now we will move into the topic of how to form the resultants of the system of forces and couple moments. What you should know is that when there are multiple forces and couple moments being applied on the body, you can transfer each of these to act at a specific point O. You have to, however, also take into account the additional couple moments which are caused by the transfer of the forces. This simplification leads to the following set of equations. Fr equals summation of F. MRO equals summation of MC plus summation of MO, where Fr is the resultant force of the system which is equivalent to the sum of all forces. Summation F acting at point O. In turn, MRO in the equation is the resultant couple moment of the system which is equivalent to the sum of all the couple moments, summation of MC plus the moments about point O of all the forces, summation MO. In a two-dimensional case, we can reduce the set of equations to the following scalar equations. Note that after you have solved the separate components frx and fry from their equations, the resultant force fr can be determined by using addition between these components. Hopefully after watching this video, you know the definition of equivalent system. You know how this equivalency can be maintained when we are moving the specified force from one point to a different point on the body, and also how to form the resultants of the system of forces and couple moments. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.